Hi, Steve Saunders again. I, I spoke yesterday about um, the book Challenging Coaching that we um, uh, spoke about. Um, really super book, great ideas, facts was in there, the, the uh, feedback, accountability, courageous goals, tension and systems. And uh, I, if, I don't know whether I, uh, you noticed, but I certainly did once I stopped the, the, web, uh, the live, um, live broadcast. I had in the title, can you teach a caterpillar to fly? And uh, forgot to mention anything about a caterpillar. So that was a, a faux pas, a mistake on my part. Uh, so today I'd like to just uh, put that right. And uh, that's one of the things that crops up in the book. Um, can you teach a caterpillar to fly? And of course you can't. No matter how good you get that caterpillar or how, um, how, how whatever you can do to a caterpillar, it's not gonna fly. It needs to change. So I think the book is the, the message there is that you need to change in order for something else to happen. So if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you'll get the same result. I think it was Einstein that uh, said uh, madness is a, a the sort of, sort of definition of madness is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result if you do the same thing. It's just not going to happen. So unfortunately for that caterpillar, it does need to go into its uh, cocoon and chrysalis and then it will emerge as a butterfly. So it does change. So it does come out of the other end into, into a caterpillar, uh, from a caterpillar into a lovely butterfly or whatever uh, type of butterfly it is, but hopefully a lovely butter butterfly. So you can obviously, once it's a butterfly, you don't need to teach it to fly because butterflies fly. So that's, a, uh, that's an interesting observation really in the book. So it's looking at that change. Uh, we've got a great formula for change. Um, and the formula goes with, uh, by the way of D, so dissatisfaction times vision plus first steps must be greater than resistance. So at the moment, the resistance to change is quite low uh, because the COVID-19 situation, business is changing, people are pivoting their, their business operations quite drastically and quite dramatically in certain cases. So those things are changing. Uh, as we say, so that resistance, which is normally quite high, is now really low. Um, so the other side of the equation, the dissatisfaction, I'm not happy with where I am. I can see the vision, I can see where I want to be. Then the first steps make it easy to do, make it easy to make that change happen. So they're the kind of concepts that we can work on really. Um, so it's that change concept, formula for change. So get, that, get yourself ready so that can you teach that caterpillar to fly? The answer is no. We want to be moving on and, and changing our business model so that it's not necessarily a caterpillar. Uh, certainly another a, a part of the book, uh, again, it's a fantastic book. I'll show you again there, the challenging coaching, um, was against the challenge and support element. Um, and in the book, we've got four quadrants really. And in the lower area, where it's low challenge and low support, it's probably a bit of inertia and apathy sets in. So people aren't looking to get better and improve. Uh, the coach isn't pushing them on and to, to get better and improving. Um, so there's a, that low support, low challenge. In the uh, area above where you've got low challenge and high support, that's often a sort of little cosy club. So you've probably built up the really nice relationship with your client or customer or teammate and suddenly that things are getting into that sort of cozy club they call it really so it's low support uh, sorry low challenge and high support and then flipping it down into the other one of the other categories really if you've got high high challenge and low support in that area it's stress area of stress for sure so again if someone's pushing 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 without any necessary support um, then that's likely to put someone under a, a whole lot of stress, which is not where people are going to operate at their best and maximum potential. So really we're looking to get people into that high performance area where there's high support and high challenge. And certainly um, I mentioned uh, yesterday, the last dance, uh, the um, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls um, documentary on Netflix, that was really high performance where where the coaches were challenging and the team and, and Michael Jordan especially was challenging his teammates 
but having that support as well. So there was high support and massively high challenge. So they're driving on, driving on to be as good as you can be. So how good can you be? So hopefully that helps really. Some again, some of the key principles of the book. So remember looking at how you can change and then looking again at that structure of are you supporting people or are you challenging them in that kind of balance and it will change as people evolve and uh, they become more professional at the things they're doing and uh, better at the things they're doing they will need to get pushing on pushing on pushing on because uh, when is enough enough uh, certainly enough is enough there is a point when enough is enough um, possibly for an athlete it'll be a time when they retire um, and they decide that enough is enough but until you've mentioned that enough is enough you've got to keep moving and pushing 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 forward so we've got to keep that change momentum going so it's um, it's a, a great idea that's shared in the book again challenging coaching by John Blakely and Ian Day recommend it to everyone thanks for watching bye for now